So as a graduate of 58, there was a kind of an infamous thing that occurred in Bay Village in 54, I think, uh, the whole Sam Shepard thing. Was that just a circus for the city? Do you remember it? He showed my finger back on. Wow. How'd you sever your finger? I grabbed a shot. Uh, a shop, my dad's shop smith, I grabbed the, the V-belt and it took right through there. And, and off to Bayview you went? And off to, off to Bayview. Well, first we went to Dr. Ross's office and he said, I can't deal with it. <laughs> so we went to Bayview and Sam, Sam had me on the table for about four or five hours. And, I mean, if you look. Wow. Wow. Was, uh, yeah, I can see it. <clears throat> <clears throat> and he put that back together. Yeah. And... Uh, Many years later, I was working for a company called Marion Laboratories, selling pharmaceuticals, and I had to work with my boss. And I really wasn't prepared that day for a complete work with your boss day. And so I got in the car with him, and I, he, he said, well, where are we going? And I said, oh, we're going to go to the Shepherd Clinic. He went, oh, okay. It's, I mean, we'll see Richard or mm -hmm. the other brother. and. We got down there and, and asked to see Richard, and, and he said, well, he's not there, and he said, but do you want to see Sam? And my boss is going like this, he, yeah. he can't believe it. And I, I went in and uh, Sam was sitting there. He looked great. He looked like a movie star at that point. Um, you know, had a plaid shirt, red, red and black plaid shirt on. and. Um, I showed him my, of course he didn't remember my face or anything, but I showed him this, you know, and he's looking at it and going like a twizzle. And Proud it. of his work. Yeah, yeah. Well, my, uh, my boss just couldn't get over the fact that I took him in and he met Sam Shepard. Now this was before or after <coughs> the event, was it? Oh, this is way, this was after he got out of prison. Oh, okay. Wow, and you're making a call on him, you went back and... Yeah. That's crazy. So was the city just, was it just a huge puzzle, a lot of activity, more activity than you've ever seen when all that was going on? Well, I wasn't here when it was going on. I was up on Pelee Island. Oh, were you? Yeah. Uh, we had a summer place there, and, uh, you know, we heard about it. Sure. The, 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 the world the, did. The, the, but uh, when we came back, we had, everybody had, has a Sam Shepard story, yeah. or a Shepard story. Uh, some of my buddies and I were walking down the beach from Houks, and uh, who was the mayor of Bay Village? He, at one he was time. the mayor of Bay Village at the time. He lived two doors down from Sam Shepard, and uh, this woman comes down off the side of the hill, and she's boys, boys, and yes, and uh, she says, "I'm from Cincinnati, but I had a vision." that I saw a bushy-haired man run up here and change his clothes and hide his clothes in this empty tree. And there was an empty tree up there. And so we're sort of thinking, maybe we shouldn't get involved here. <laughs> but we, we, one of my buddies went up and looked and there was nothing up there. Oh yeah, I'm sure there were a lot of people who had visions and thoughts yeah. and knew what they were doing. But, uh, my best friend uh, at the time, Jack Barber, his dad was made acting mayor at the time, and so I kind of had an in on all that was kinda, going on. A lot of the things that were going on back then, and it 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 really affected everybody. I bet uh, it did. One of the things that I gave you was a poem that I wrote mm -hmm. about uh, Bay Village, and I put. One little section in there that mentions Sam Shepard, and I read that at a reunion. And uh, see, several people came up to me and said, "How could you do that? Don't you know Sam Shepard's niece is in the room?" I said, "Well, I don't care." I, said, I mean, I really didn't. I didn't know she was there, and I yeah, didn't. It's do part that. of the history. It's it's just part, it, you know anybody who can say that. They weren't affected by that and didn't have an opinion to argue with Frank Martin down at the barber shop. Mm -hmm. 
Well, he believed he was guilty. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> was that barbershop right in the center? Yeah, the one in the Bay yeah, Barbershop. Same one. <coughs> yeah, Frank sold. He sold out his his interest, and I'm not sure who owns it now. But Ten Howe, <coughs> uh, Bob Howe runs it now. <coughs> right. 